Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today we're playing a deck that I was actually really, really interested in when somebody like told me about it. Uh, it's a, it's an expanded deck. We haven't done it. We don't do expanded too much on the channel. I want to do more expanded, but like I don't know, expanded is kind of boring to me a lot of the times. <laughs> but today we're gonna be playing some Tool Drop Garbodor. So uh, interestingly enough, the main attacker is actually our Trubbish. But we also have another main attacker, and not this one, in Garbodor as well. And that's kind of the goal in this deck, is just to attack with uh, Trubbish and Garbodor as much as we can. So, if you guys don't know, this is Tool Drop Garbodor. We don't have this in Standard, this is an expanded deck list. Uh, tool Drop is actually, for a Psychic and a Colors and Ages, 20 damage times the amount of Tool cards attached to Pokemon in play. So both yours and your opponent's. So, the, the goal is to spam tools. We have 10 tools here, as you can see. We're going to spam tools until uh, we can hit big damage. And we have ways to spam tools. And in case that we don't have a lot of tools, we have Trash Lanch here. And an expanded Trash Lanch is very powerful because there's a lot of items in expanded that are worth playing. So we have Trash Lanch here as a mid to get late game attacker and even an early game attacker depending on the matchup. And we also play a two of Garbo Toxin. Um, so that's kind of like what the deck's about. And I, I know you see this Entei here, right? So let me let me tell you guys something. Uh, in Legacy, which I have played this deck in Legacy before, it's actually one of my favorite Legacy decks. We don't have Garbodor, we don't have a Trash Lancer, and I don't think I even play Ability Lock either, because we play Sigilyph in Expanded. Uh, Sigilyph has the ability Toolbox. This Pokemon may have up to four Pokemon Tools cards attached to it. Um, uh, obviously, if you if, and if the ability gets turned off for any reason, we have to discard until we have one tool attached to it. Now, that's why it's weird that I'm playing a two of, and the reasoning is because I'm playing Entei instead. Now, in Expanded, you have Hex Maniac. You have a lot of Garbodor out there. There's a lot of ways to turn off abilities. There's Greninja with uh, Shadow Stitching. So, and in this format, you don't really need to attach a million tools to get knockouts with with a uh, trash with a uh, tool drop. And there's not enough deck space nowadays to have a million tools in a deck. So what I'm doing instead is I'm playing this Entei here because Entei has Fate a Double. This attack may have this Pokemon may have up to tool 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 cards attached to it. So we have a way to attach multiple tools to a Pokemon and not <laughs> and not be put in a bad position. Because even if we turn off our ability, Faded Double is an ability, it's a trait. So because we have an ancient trait there, we there's no way in the game to actually turn off ancient traits. So no matter what the situation, we can always have tools unless they feel blower us. And speaking of feel blowers, another Pokemon I was thinking about playing was our Regirock promo. And uh, you guys can consider doing that. The only reason why is because they can't Field Blower it, they can't Lysander or anything like that. That's the only reason why I was considering playing it. But um, the the barrier ability, like, and I don't know, I just don't feel like there's room for it. I don't feel like it's worth it. Uh, but that was just that was just to get you guys thinking about the reason why I play Entei. Because I know that's going to be the first question you all's head. Like, why is he playing Entei? That's so dope. I know, right? Let me tell y'all. <laughs> but everything is kind of like support to get, tr um, to get Tool Drop working. We have a 1 of Shaman for draw support. You can increase this to a two of, but right now I'm playing it as a one of. I'm just trying it out as a one of. Uh, we are playing two Entei so that we can have them down easily. One or Choreo, because in case it's not obvious, we are playing a Dimension Valley so that all of our Pokemon can attack for one Psychic Energy, uh, bar this one, of course, which I have been forced to attack with Sludge Toss before to win a game. It was actually kind of wild. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Dimension Valley here, uh, each Psychic Pike po Pokemon's attacks does uh, cost one colorless less. So in the case of or Choreo with the Dimension Valley out, you can actually attack for free, and we use it for Supernatural Dance, so you can do one damage counter on your opponent's Pokemon for every for every Pokemon in their discard pile. So it's just a Night March counter. This deck has a really good matchup against Night March, just because we're one price attackers, we're tool drop, uh, we're ability lock, uh, and they play a lot of items as well. And we're psychic type, which means we can Oko their March Shadows, and obviously Shamans are easy enough to Oko. Only things that are going to be a little bit difficult to knock out are Lele's, but once again, Trash Lanch, really, really strong attacker. So... There's, uh, that's that's why we play Orcorio for the matchup. We also have three top of Lele's, just consistency. Also, Energy Drive is a one energy attack, actually, under uh, Dimension Value, which could be pro which could prove to be useful. Maybe that chip 20 damage could be clutch. Of course, we are playing four Trubbish, and we're playing a split of 2-2 two, two Garbodor and Garbotoxin. We're playing this Garbotoxin. Uh, it's the same thing as the other one. The only thing different about this one and the other Garbotoxin is the attack. Um, this one has a 60 energy attack, but... Uh, Psychic 3 colorless, your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused and poison is a secondary effect, while uh, 
while the one that we're playing right now is a three energy attack. So we can actually attack just two psychic energies to attack with Sludge Toss. And uh, I know that I had a matchup against, what was it? I had a matchup against uh, Night March to where I, if I didn't, if I, if I attacked with my main attacker, I wouldn't have an attacker for the following turn. So I ended up attacking with Garbodor here. Sludge Toss knocked out the Marsh Shadow and then they couldn't do anything because there was no way for them to get rid of my main attacker. So we actually won the game because of that so i mean that's why i prefer this one if if, if it has if it's an attack option we'll go for it um and then of course we have trash and astro spray is something we can do as well in some matchups uh two energies to uh discard a flip to potentially discard an energy off your opponent's active pokemon uh i'm, I'm playing two rescue stretches just because we need to get our trash lanches going consistently or trubbishes consistently uh this way we can constantly have trubbishes out uh shuffle them back into the deck and getting them back into our hand we, don't, we do not want to have a turn where we don't have a Trubbish on the field and on the bench. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. Two Trainer's Mail. Consistency is key, I feel, in this matchup. In this deck, I mean. So I'm playing two. I want to play more. Deck space is really, really, really tight. As you can see, I'm not even playing my favorite card, Getsus. Because <laughs> Cause like, cause the, the, the matchup is so tight. Obviously, the reason why I'm not playing Getsus, I made that cut because we have such a good uh night march matchup that i'm not too worried about it now i say good night march matchup like <laughs> night march is still a really really tough matchup just because it's night march is one of the best decks in the format if not the best deck in the format but our matchup isn't like an auto loss or anything like that so that's why i decided to get out get rid of the getsis and focus a little bit more on consistency we have four ultra balls four fias seekers and four dimension values of course for once again consistency uh i am playing one bridget i do want to have our trubbishes down early game uh, as well as entei so that's why I'm playing the one of Bridget. Uh, one Colorist because Colorist is a great draw supporter. Uh, I believe two Guzmas because we want to get those knockouts where we can. So I'm opting to play two of count, two ends, and four Junipers. Once again, consistency, draw support, all that good jazz. If anything, I could see myself cutting down an end just because we have a Colorist as well. But we're going to go for that. We're also playing a one of teammates, which is another card I might consider bumping up to a two of. Uh, one of the most broken cards in the game. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, uh, which is good if, you're, if your Pokemon was knocked out last turn, which obviously we have a lot of low HP Pokemon that are very susceptible to being knocked out. So that's why I'm doing it. I am playing a one choice band, four tr uh, float stones, one of hard charm, which reduces damage done to, uh, taken by 20, which could actually mess up a lot of math, which is why I'm playing the one of hard charm. Uh, one life do, which is our a spec of choice. If this Pokemon, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one fewer prize card. I know they can feel blow it away, but it's good on Lele's and Shamans. That way they can't take two prizes and we keep messing up the prize exchange. And we are playing three muscle bands. I prefer muscle bands over choice bands and expanded just because being able to do 20 damage to all Pokemon as opposed to just EXs and GXs is really good in a format where there's things like Trevenant and Greninja running around that won't be that won't take any increased damage by choice band. So I am playing a two of muscle a three of muscle band in this deck. And I'm playing eight psychic energy. I like the eight the eight count. Uh matchups that are kind of bad for this deck are Trevenant is the one that comes to mind. Just because Trevenant can ability lock us and it's kind of awkward. Um, but those are the only ones that really come to mind though. I don't know, I'm sure there are more. Uh, we are playing against Fighting Psychic. I do not know what this is at all, actually. It's a fighting deck. Is there any good fighting decks in format? None that I can think of. Not until Buzzwell comes out. Buzzwell's gonna be a beast. I'm actually super duper excited about Buzzwell. Buzzwell's gonna be one of probably the first uh, deck I profile when Crimson Shadows comes out, if I have the cards for it. Uh, opening hand's kind of weird, but we do get a turn one Bridget, which is handy. We don't have an energy attached for the turn. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's not the best either. We're not going first, which is unfortunate as well. We'll see what we're doing. There's an Oracorio. Weak to dark. I never even realized that. Oh, we're playing Spinning Turn. Oh, Spinning Turn is such a bad matchup. Uh, <laughs> spinning Turn is such an awful matchup for us. Uh, I was playing... Uh, it's the Dawn fan deck. I was playing against this, and I really, really wish I played Field Blower. But I couldn't find room for Field Blower. If I did play Field Blower, I'd probably drop an N for it. But uh, the, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the Focus Sashes that bother me in this matchup. I can't really do too much about them either. Um, what do I drop here? I do want to Ability Lock, but there's not a lot of abilities in this deck that I care about. Let me ultra. Let me trainer mail first. We whiffed. That's unfortunate. All right. Let me go ahead and play this first. I'm gonna get another Trubbish out. We don't have to play Bridge at this turn because we have two Trubbishes out now. Uh, we can actually get a knockout on Oricorio if we get enough tools on the board, which will be nice. We just need 
Uh, one, two, three, four. We need five. Four, four, and a muscle band. We'll shame it here for five. I do not want to end my opponent. I could have Ultra Balled for a Lele, but I do not want to end my opponent. Uh, Juniper is good. Okay, so we're starting to get tools down. We can put back a Garbodor. This is this is actually really good in this matchup as well. I forgot to mention. I guess we'll shuffle it back because we're going to sick more anyways. Or Juniper, I mean. I'm going to say sick more a lot, guys. Just, I'm sorry. Get used to it, I guess. <laughs> we're losing a dimension value here. Is that a third dimension value that we're losing? No, that was our previous hand. Okay, that's too many energy. Uh, we did not get enough tools, unfortunately. But we did get... We only play one of Shaman. So there's no way for me to draw more tools here. I'll play the Entei down. We'll just go ahead and tool drop for 40, 60. Ah, oh, we were two tools short. That's fine, though. We'll be all right. We did draw as much as we could there between Shaman and Sycamore. So spinning turn will do 60 damage to us. Um, it's going to be kind of awkward. Oh, he's playing with Champ to increase the damage output. I also want to play this deck. I think I'm going to write that down on the decks I want to play. Because spinning turn seems like a lot of fun. Let me do uh, to record. Let me do... Um, I need to get the cards, of course. I don't have them online. Spinning turn. There we go. A hey, ideas. He has to retreat this turn. Can he retreat? What's he going to do? Is he stuck? I mean, if I can knock out these Dawn fans before fighting, uh, before focus sashes come out, we're going to be in a good place. Uh, these, these are the bane of my existence right here. Right here, the bane of my existence. Bloodstones are good. We could ability lock, which is going to be actually really, really nice. I'm going to get Lele down, of course. Lele Sycamore. After we manually attach. I think, that's, I think that's the play. But I do want to ability lock. Because my opponent is stuck. And I don't want them to get a Lele or a Shaman to get out of this. And we no longer need abilities because our bench is full. I mean, it won't be full for long, clearly. But it is. Uh, ooh, mm, we won't get a knockout, though. Yeah, we'll stick one more here. Yeah, this match was really rough. The last time I played this matchup, I lost. I mean, I barely lost, but it's still, like, unfortunate. And we have ability lock. We have teammates as well, which is actually really nice. We we have two ladies in our hand we can't use, but that's going to be handy. Mm, I can't retreat this turn. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose a Trubbish here. Uh, if I play teammates, what does that do for me? I mean, I'm going to have Chorus as a draw supporter for later. Teammates will get me a... What's it going to give me? A Guzma, maybe? I mean, we have to knock this thing out at some point. I just hate that we're forced to knock things out. I'd rather not. Uh, is there anything else I might want to floatstone? Not really. We can knock out without it, so I'll just get my knockout here. See what I get off the prizes. Guzma would be nice. Or a way to get Guzma. We got another floatstone. I mean, it's handy for later, I suppose. Yeah, but this can do 60 damage. And this switches into this so that he can so I don't take the prize, which is such a cool strategy to me. Because he can just continuously chip down. He is gonna end, which is why I want to play the floatstone, but unfortunately, <laughs> we cannot. I mean, as long as he whiffs focus sashes, we'll be okay. We got Guzma, which is really nice. Did he whiff focus sash? Because I want to knock this out. We got another trash lanch. Uh, we have an attacker. Oh, this thing is uh has 130 HP. Not really sure why he's doing this. He gets the knockout without it. That was some completely unnecessary and very bad play, honestly. Um, okay, so I have one, two, three tools, four tools. We're hitting for 80. Hmm. Not enough damage. How about now? No, it's not enough damage still. Mm, I want to get prizes though. I'd rather get prizes than anything else. How much damage is he doing? 20, 40, 60 extra damage. He's hitting for 100 right now. Uh, wreck could be a problem. 
I don't think I, I don't think I can afford to Guzma this turn as much as I want to. We'll do this. I'm gonna try to get a psychic energy this turn. We have three, four gone. We only have four left in the deck. I don't play any super rods because I was assuming eight would be enough. Okay, we got it. That's good. And we got a lot of tools, but. I think I'm just not going to attack this turn. Here's what I'll do. I just won't attack this turn. Because we can Guzman next turn. I want to knock it. I mean, it has a choice band attached now, which means that it's not as much of a threat because I can Oko it eventually. Right now, there's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one more tool will get a knockout. No, two more tools because it's 130, not 120. There's the focus sash. That's a that's a problem. That Pokemon's an issue right now. This thing has like a one retreat cost, right? Oh no, you can't retreat this card without like. No, it's impossible to retreat this card without a uh, like a switching card, which is good. It's very good for us. Which means we can get a free goose and we get a free knockout here. Uh, Oracorio is going to be really good in this matchup as well because Oracorio can spread damage and break a bunch of focus sashes, which is like how I'm going to have to play this matchup. Man, I wish he wouldn't. Wish he would stop playing in. Because <laughs> I'm not attaching my tools. I'm afraid of field blower, right? So I can always have tools ready. Now I don't have a goose for next turn, which is unfortunate. And there's another focus sash. Okay, I definitely need an Oracorio. I need to get like a couple knockouts and then Oracorio. What are you doing here? Oh, he just discards it. Oh, you can just discard it. Oh, I see. That's going to be a knockout, I think. No, it's not. It barely misses it. And he's going to let me knock this out. Okay. I mean, I, once again, prizes are prizes. I'll take prizes. One, two, three. So he's hitting for 100. <clears throat> this means I can break sashes as well. Uh, I don't really want a Sycamore, to be honest. How many items are down here? I mean, Robo subs count as items as well. Only two. This thing's weak to lightning, I believe. Yeah. So I might have to. Lit a, I might have to. Hmm. I think I'm gonna let a Trubbish be knocked out so I can teammates to get another one. I mean, I can get Rescue Stretcher, which is good. I guess that's the play. We get knockout, so. I gotta take knockouts while I can, while my opponent isn't. I gotta I gotta win this prize exchange is what I'm trying to say. So that's good for us. And we can actually bench an Oracorio if we need to as well. There's an N. Unnecessary. He only has two items, but he's played three of his Ns already. And VS Seekers will count as items, so uh, that'll be good for Trash Lanch. Let's see how he plays this out. Because we can do 60 damage. Uh, AD with Muscle Band. There's an Ultra Ball. What's he doing? Two puzzles. He's throwing away two puzzles to play Ultra Ball. What did he grab? Another Dawn Fan, I'm assuming. So is he going to spin turn between the two? Colrus for... Okay, I see. Colrus for seven. Mm, and there's a big damage he can start doing. So this Dolphin needs to go. Machop is not an issue. I don't want to knock out Machop. I want to knock out that Dolphin. He played. He lost two more items. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm hitting him for 120 right now. Still not a knockout. Was something worth mentioning. Hmm. How many Pokemon does he have down there? One, two. I can break two sashes. And potentially get knockouts with... Okay. I can try that. I can end him down to four. I also end myself down to four. Let me make the Oracorio play.
Do I have rescue stretcher? Oh, my stretcher's prized. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I need prizes. I need prizes right away. I need prizes right away. Uh, I don't have another stretcher, which is really, really bad. Oh, that's really bad. I can chorus. I'd rather end my opponent, to be honest. I'll grab Guzma. Uh, 2040. I think I'm gonna start setting you up. I don't know, I think I have to hold on to my energies. Retreat. And we will Supernatural Dance, one here. Just breaking sashes at this point. We'll see what my opponent can do. I probably will end my opponent next turn. I'm hoping they play one more item. I mean, I can knock this out, right? But then he can knock me out with Dawn Fan, and then I'm stuck because I don't have another attacker ready. So this Dawn Fan has got to go. He's going to computer search. What's he getting with computer search? Don't get Guzma. Do not get Guzma. He can knock me out. If he knocks out my garb, it's kind of over. Because I, I don't have a way to take another prize. I guess I could take it with Lele. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I touch another energy, I could have taken it with Lele. He's going to robo sub here. Can he retreat? Let's see if he makes the Guzma play. Because if he doesn't, I will. Because he played computer search, so that means that there's that last item he needs. Yeah, he's not going to make the Guzma play. Unless he has Lysander in hand. Because he, he invested too much onto this Pokemon. So now we're in a really good place. So that's the seventh item. We hit for 140 now with Trash Lanch. All we need to do is get Rescue Stretcher off the prizes. He has no way to get a knockout from full with Garbodor as well. Just please don't have Lysander. <laughs> I don't think he has it uh, in his discard pile. Yeah, he doesn't. Dope. I, I will take the knockout on Oracoria, which he doesn't even knock me out. Which is kind of awkward, but we have Guzma, so we'll be okay. Let me just double check the item count to make sure I'm not lying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 140 damage. Yep. Uh, I don't really want to attach anything because I want to get another trash tr uh, tr uh, trubbish down. Yeah, we'll Guzma. We'll get our knockout here. He has no way to get a knockout after this. Okay, so we'll trash Lanch. And that's another item in the discard pile as well. So now we hit 160. So if he puts down any two prize attackers, we can start doing the business. There's another choice band as well. We whiffed the rescue stretcher, which is really bad. We're going to be <laughs> the lone, lone Garbodor versus the world. If we can keep getting uh bs seekers we we have like three more left so if we can keep getting vs seekers we can keep going for the uh guzma plays the thing is he's gonna hit me for 60 here which is two a ko it's awkward he needs another fan p down as well so we can evolve it next turn and potentially attach a strong energy let's see if he has a draw supporter in hand because i have this here He's going to VS Seeker. I'm assuming he's going to Guzma. He might Colrus, though. I was going to end. That sucks. I mean, not Guzma. I meant to say end, not Guzma. Okay, so if I can VS Seeker, we're in a good place. I need to get Rescue Stretcher. <laughs> I have to keep taking prizes until I can get my... Until I can, like, call it a game. VS Seeker, VS Seeker, come on. Luckily, it's a 3 at KO instead of a 2 at KO. Can I top deck here? Dang it, I can't. Um, it's so awkward. I only have one more turn to potentially take a prize and for it to be a good, useful Pokemon. And I can't retreat either. Man, I hate when, when when ends work for my opponent, bro. Like, this is ridiculous. If I can revel... I could actually revelation damage for 30. Uh, this is weak to it. It's gonna be a problem, if, especially if he has a field blur. I guess I just trash lance here. Like I don't have much of a play. I can't retreat easily. 
This is gonna have to be an attacker here soon at this rate. All right, so hard charm is being useful right now. Don't take a prize for this, unfortunately. All right, that end was really strong for my opponent. God, he even replaced the stadium as well. I should have one more stadium card in the deck as well. I wanted to play cards down. Yeah, I have one more stadium left in the deck, assuming that's not priced too. Uh, Rescue Stretcher being priced sucked for me. This is why I played two of though, guys. So, like, I wanted to make sure I can constantly get out, but this is why I want to increase the count as well. Juniper for seven. Man, my opponent's having like the best game ever as well. Man. <laughs> Man. And he has another sub. Ah. And he has two he has two Dawn fans ready, which means that if I do not get a knockout this next turn, I think I lose. I'm pretty sure if I cannot get a knockout this up this next turn, I think I lose. Thank you. Okay. So this needs to be amazing for me. Um, how many Pokemon does he have down here actually? One, two, three, four. I could. Does anything have 50 HP? You have 80. That's too much HP. Never mind. I was gonna say I could get a knock of Orcorio. I'm putting down two more Pokemon down. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the one with the Focus Sash, or the one that had a Focus Sash, I should say. We're gonna Guzma here. All right. Please, please, please be useful. This hits for 50 with a stadium out. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I, anything I could knock out. I could knock this out right now. So this gives me two more prizes I could event, essentially, uh, potentially take. Uh, and then this will be knocked out. Then I knock out this, any of these. I'm going to make that play. Yeah, I'm going to make that play. Yeah, that play. Because this hits for 60 with weakness, uh, which will become 100 with weakness. Which will, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and Revelation Dance for Knockout. Okay, Trash Lance, come on, or um, Re Rescue Stretcher, come on. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Good. All right. This doesn't guarantee us the win because now we're stuck still. But it does give us a chance, which is good. We still have two more VS Seekers, one more N, one more Juniper, and a Chorus in the deck as well. So we have a lot of cards that could help us right now. But I'm going to have to stall a bit. I might just attack with Lele. It's a 30 HP Pokemon, which sucks. And I can't attack with Lele without my Dimension Valley. But I might have to make that play. As long as he doesn't get another Focus Sash, we should be okay. But even if he does get another Focus Sash, we just need two more knockouts. Spinning turn. We should have one more Guzma in the deck as well. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. All right. Let's see what we can do here. So, oh, male. Oh, male. Oh, male. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the thing is, though, I want a Guzma, but it's not, it's not an ideal play. Because we won't be set up for the following turn. And we're ahead in prizes right now, so I think I'm okay if I don't Kuzma. One, two, three. The three Pokemon I want back. Because we can actually get some big knockouts. Because we put another two Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do we can put 60 damage on the board, which is nice. Honestly, <laughs> I can knock out Robo Subs and damage the bench. But we're gonna play ourselves a Sycamore here. Unfortunately, no Chorus. We could teammates. Teammates will get me. No, it wouldn't give me what I need. Or Corio Dimension Valley could be nice, but it's not useful. We don't have an energy to attack with. We whiff Dimension Valley as well. It's not ideal. Uh, we could give him Life to Shaman. <clears throat> but I want to be able to retreat. I guess he can't knock out Garbodor. But I can't safely play Juniper now, because that's our last stretcher. I don't even know of the things in the deck, so... Uh, problems galore. I don't know what to play to make. Because this will be knocked out. Uh, I think I just pass. 
play this down, get out of the deck. And yeah, I don't, I think I just pass. Let me take a look through my deck actually, I can do that. Um, I have a one more Psychic Energy left, but no more Dimension Values, which means this next prize I take has to be a Dimension Value as well. And we also have one more VS Seeker left. So I need a VS Seeker and a I need a Dimension Value. <laughs> I need so much. Uh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so I have one Dimension Value prize, which is a 50% chance of getting it. If I can if I can take a knockout sometime soon. Um, so I think I'm just gonna pass for now. It's another robo sub. So or Corio can take out both robo subs, which is good. Um oh Karina's a problem. If he gets another uh puzzle of time, he could get those he can get those cards back. Let's see what he gets. If he knocks this out through whatever means, I don't think he can, but if he could knock this out, that'd be really nice for me. Yeah, there's Puzzle. So you can play Double Puzzle. Is he gonna get two Robo Subs back? I hope not. Okay, he can't get a knockout this turn, which is good. It's very, very good. Because we're, we're in the middle of top deck mode right now. There's not much we can do here. Do I have any ways to put cards back in the deck? I do not. So I, I just have to keep sitting in top deck mode, I think. I could bridge it. Get that out of the deck. <sighs> I'm debating if I'm going to be attacking with Oracorio or not. That's the issue. I think I'm going to be taking a knockout with this. So... I'm, I, I'm going off Guzma to get a knockout, and then I'm going off Oracorio to finish the game off, I think. Because 8 damage counters is enough to knock this out. So if I put one more Pokemon in the discard pile, or one more 2-stage evolution Pokemon in the discard pile, I think I win. So if I can knock out Donphan, oh my god, top deck mode. Do not do this to me. Do not make my very last card a VS Seeker. I will explode if that's the case. can't do anything here. I can't even attack with this now that I'm thinking about it. So we're both in top deck mode here. I guess he's being very careful. He wants to take two prizes, I think. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and knock out the one with the strong energy. And if we can get if we can get the stadium, we win. If we don't get the stadium, I think we might lose. I think we might... No, there's a chance we don't lose, actually. This is the one with the stadium, right? Actually, I kind of want to knock one out that doesn't have a tool. So we'll knock this one. That way he can't get Focus Ash. Okay, so now Oracorio wins. If I can get Dimension Valley off this, we win without the need of an energy. Dang it. Okay. Uh, we, we still have an energy in the deck, so we can win with that. If he gets a knockout here, I think we just win. Because we can just Sycamore or Juniper, get the energy, and then get the game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this should make it 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then this has 70 HP. Yep, so we, we just win now. Okay, that was a close match. That was way more, that was a 30 minute match. <laughs> That was a 30 minute match, man. He's on a double puzzle, but he has no, unless he ends me, I don't see him winning. If he ends me to one and then like gets a couple knockouts, yeah, there's double robo subs. I knew that's what he would do. That's why I never try to target these things because they can always get the robo subs back. Should I tell him, I'll, I'll tell him what played. That was a close game. Well played. Get down or choreo. Uh, I guess I'll play down the tools, I suppose. Muscle band. I don't really have a reason to play those, but. Shoutouts to or choreo being such a powerful card. 
And this is the one that does damage counters. Dope. Let's not make this too long, please. Thank you. And that's game. Uh, sure. It's not like it matters. There we go. Okay. That was one game. <laughs> Wild. Wild. Oh, did I finish my challenge? I think I did. Uh, do I even have a challenge going on? I guess I do. Well, regardless, that was one game. <laughs> I guess we'll get one more game. I guess one short video into a really long video. All right. Let's see if we can get a decent match. A decent match. See, that was that's see that's a matchup that's like I could argue to be one of our toughest. Um, another reason why I play Orikoyo is a nice way to break focus sashes. Uh, this hand's kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, uh, it's really awkward. <laughs> I don't think I can afford to play Bridget this turn because I don't have a draw supporter. I guess we'll just lead with that. We're going first, which is handy. It's not terribly useful. Like, we don't mind going second just because we can attack. We only go first because of item luck. Oh my, if we're playing... Uh, don't make me play fighting again. Come on. Do I have to cut this game out? I almost want to forfeit because I don't have time. But I guess we'll just play it out. Okay, this is a lot better now. I think I can afford to bridge it this turn. We're playing Zygarde this time. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to bridge it now. It's weak to grass, so we actually can't hit it for super effective, which is going to be rough because they can heal themselves with Cellstorm. So this matchup's actually scary as well. We'll Lele here to get Bridget, assuming it's not prized. Nice. Uh, we have an end prized. A goo. We don't have a Guzma prized. We have a Trubbish prized. All right. Okay, we have an energy prized. Play the Bridget. Uh, one, two, three. Not you. Attach here. See if he gets a knockout next turn. I doubt it, but just in case. Anything else I want to play? Not really. I guess we can get Trash Lanch and Ability Lock next turn. Or something. We'll see. I do not have a draw supporter, so I need to keep a bench space open for Lele as well. Which is why I played Bridget that turn, because we have Ultra Ball for Lele. If he ends me, that's fine, because we can potentially get a draw supporter as well off the end, while preserving a uh, Ultra Ball. So this Oracorio is pretty worthless this matchup. The fighting scene is going to be kind of awkward. Only does damage to EX Pokemon, though, which I don't believe we have any besides Shaman. This is why this is why I didn't play Ultra Ball, because if he ends me, I didn't want to be in an awkward position. It would have been nice to put the Guzman in the discard pile, but... Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess it would have been nice, huh? <laughs> awkward. Uh, this is an awkward situation. I think it's knockout? That shouldn't be knockout, right? Resist? Oh, I didn't even know we resist. I mean, I, I guess I knew that from the last game, but, uh, yeah, this is a really bad opening hand. I guess we're going to Guzma this thing out and <laughs> hit it for like 40, I suppose. I think I actually have to use the Resist Berry, or Resist Berry, the Hard Charm. I'll probably Hard Charm the Bench one. I hate that I'm stuck though. I actually really hate that I'm stuck. We'll do this, and we'll Tool Drop for 80, I guess. 100 maybe? It's 100, yeah. One, two, three, yeah. He has his own tool, that's right. So uh, it's a 2 of KO if he can't retreat. Let's see if we we'll see if he plays N again. Maybe he's stuck. That'd be cool. Oh, he's gonna play second more. Unfort. Unfort. Yay, top deck mode. At the very least, we get a knockout next turn. No, no, never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. He needs to whiff Flowstone. Please whiff the Flowstone. Just whiff it. You don't need it. Nice. So we do get a knock. Oh, we, okay, we do get a knockout. <laughs> I'm going back and forth here, but at the very least we get a knockout, which means we get two prizes, which could be useful. The prize exchange in this in this deck is really good at the very least. 
There's another Trubbish and another Psychic Energy. Dope. We can't do anything. <laughs> we can't do anything. I might just Guzma again, to be honest. This thing might have to be Goozered. So he can sell... I don't know why he attached that many energy. Hex? I guess Hex is fair. It's an ability lock me. I mean, I don't have any abilities I can use, so... If I can get Dimension Value, that'd be kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, I'm going to go for that one next. Don't worry. Actually, this one could do a lot of damage. I believe it does 20, 40, 60. Uh, I think I actually have to go for it, though. We'll see. I have to Guzma this turn, though, because <laughs> this is getting kind of awkward for me. Yay, Stretcher. Can't do anything still. Um, I guess I'll hold on to the Stretcher in case he chooses to Lele me or something. Uh, but I'm going to Guzma here. And hopefully he doesn't have a Guzma. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, yay, Tool Drop. <laughs> I add all these consistency cards and that this is happening. Oh boy. If I hit him for 80, if I get another tool, it won't be a knockout still. But if I get two more tools, I get a knockout. So he hates me for like... Trust seven. That's not fair. Where's mine? I need one. Give me one. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't even take an N at this point, man. Like, come on, hook me up. Because <laughs> I can't attack once this Trubbish goes down. What's the retreat cost on this thing? Is it one? It's two, so I'm probably going to have to retreat it. I'd rather the Oracoria be knocked out, to be honest. I mean, Oracoria is a free attacker, which is dope. Dang it, he has computer search now. Uh, <laughs> what a pain. What a pain. There's the float stone. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I think we lose, guys. <laughs> I think I lose my win streak to Zygarde out of all decks. Out of all decks I could lose to, man. Four Sycamores, two ends, one Chorus, two Trainer Males. And now I don't, I can't even like abuse this trash lanch. One, two. He only has two items down there. Three, four. Yes, four. Yeah, that's not, it's not good enough. How much is he hitting for? 20, 40, 60 extra damage. Um, still not a knockout, which is handy. But I can't really risk this. So, yeah. Actually, maybe this is the best card to risk because I can actually use Lele the following turn. So I guess I'll just pass. What's he doing? He's gonna knock out. Is he is, okay? That's fine, I guess. I guess he just wants to knock out this turn. He could heal this if he attacked me with it. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> knock out the Lele, bro. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Just do it. I'm stuck. Dimension Valley. I mean, I guess I can get a free attack. He has one Pokemon, so we can do one damage counter. Uh, one, two... He has four items. And there's not much I can do here. There's not anything I can really do here. I guess I'll pass. I want to play the Rescue Search to get Trubbishes back, but I guess that's the no-go. Not a knockout, so we get an extra turn out of this. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, so now we can do this. Shuffle those three back. One, two, three. <clears throat> Evolve this one. This one. Alright, let's see if we can bring this game back somehow. We didn't whiff a Psychic Energy. We got two more tools. He'll get a knockout next turn. But at the very least, we can get it to a KO. Maybe. Because he has one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll get it to a KO. Which is handy. Even if he replaces the stadium, we have a thing. So even if he does heal up, I think this is still to a, to a KO. See how much damage we're doing. Yeah, 140. Dope. So once again, the prize exchange is useful. If he gets Guzma, we're in a bad position. Uh, which he will be getting Guzma apparently, so I think that's game then. Yeah, I think that's game. That sucks. I guess we can attack with this. Um, 
One, two. He played VS Seeker just now, right? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can attack with this. So hopefully, uh, we can get ourselves a. That's seven. <sighs> this, this is awkward now. So I need to knock this out actually. If he gets a, if he gets an energy here, it's gonna be really bad. I, I need to attack this because this thing's a threat. Man, 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 man. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. You got what? Did, okay. I'm actually super angry. I'm actually super angry because we could have brought this game back if we just didn't have five dead turns. Yeah, we can replace the stadium. Does he have an energy though? Oh, he attached it there. Um, that's pretty smart as well, I suppose. Can I top deck a Guzma? I can't top deck a Guzma and an energy, unfortunately. Yep. Yep. Ability lock doesn't do anything for me, so I guess I'll just stick one more here. Uh this game. Unfortunately. There's not really a way for me to make a not game because he has Guzma. So yeah, it's game. Uh, it's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. All right, well, I guess you guys got to see the highs and lows in this in this deck. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video now before it hits like an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I had like a nine win streak too. That's, that's TCGO, bro. Once you have a high win streak, they start shafting you. In a deck that's supposed to be consistent. <laughs> He's the, that's the game. That's the game. You can't really do much about it. Um, that's tool drop garb. If you guys are interested in it, I actually really like it. I like the fact that you can attack with both evolutions, do big damage throughout the game. Uh, you have different strategies with Oracorio as well. I like how we won with Oracorio last game. I mean, honestly, out, out of like the testing I have done with this deck, the toughest matchups I've seen has been Trevenant, and some Trevenant matchups I've beaten just because I've been able to like, uh, I've been able to uh, play down my thing here before uh sometimes before some i mean sometimes they whiff in other games that they don't whiff and you can't play items i've been able to guzma i've been able to lele for guzma play my items uh, play my tools down excuse me play ability lock and stuff like that so the toughest matchups i see are trevenant and and spinning turned on i've been seeing that deck a lot lately maybe it's because of the fighting challenge that was going on i think the fighting challenge is over though uh, I'm well. I'll check later. I, th I thought the fighting challenge was over, but I guess not. I don't know. Maybe people just really like spinning turn decks. Uh, but regardless, drop a like if you haven't already subscribed. Share all the good jazz. This is probably my favorite build, like the build that I've played the most and like the most. Uh, without uh, Oracorio helps, so you don't really need field blower for focus dashes. I would want to play more of these, and maybe I should. Maybe dropping one N for another trainer's mail. Uh, I do think the two Guzmas are too important to drop, but I think the one of N is okay. Be between teammates and four Junipers, we should be okay to drop a one of N. Yeah, I think I think this will be the list. I think this is the final list for me. Uh, drop a like if you haven't already subscribed. Share all the good jazz. Uh, let me know if there's any decks you want to see me play. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to say. Not really. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.